Let's read together. Ready? Shout it as loud as you can. One to read. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom thou hast made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. One last time. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. It says, in wisdom thou hast made Now, when God wants to make you great, I want you to listen to me. When God wants to make a man great, there are two things that God does in the life of that man. Number one, God reveals his will to you. This is the first thing God does in ascending men from a realm of defeat, mediocrity, their lowly estates, to a realm where they rise and they are able to shine indeed. The first thing that God does to a man is to reveal his will because i have told you that everything in god's economy answers to his will so your your first part of call in making progress with god is to know his will for your life or for whatever matter number one the second thing that god does is that the moment he brings you to the awareness of his will he grants you access to the wisdom that is hidden in him that will bring that will to pass. Listen to me. Knowing the will of God for your life, for your finances is not enough. If that will is not connected to the wisdom, the wisdom there reveals the strategy allocated to make that which he has told you come to pass. There are many, many people who have become endless victims and limited by God said. Their God said was not wrong, but they only stayed in the realm of knowing the will of God without accessing the wisdom that translates what he has said to what you now see. Are we together now? The assignment of what the Bible calls the wisdom of God is the strategy given to all men as a gift from God to tell you what to do, how to act, how to navigate your way until you translate the will of God from that which is finished in the spirit to that which is made manifest in your life. Those whose lives become a sign and a wonder are men who number one by the privilege of God's grace have access the will of God the knowledge of his will but number two through the agency of the word of God and the spirit they have mastered the art of drawing from the depth of his wisdom and out of that wisdom they produce results that are extraordinary you must learn to tap into the wisdom that is allocated for your greatness the bible talks about it and calls it the hidden wisdom of god the bible says that has been kept for our glory that means imagine that you go to a place just just using your mind that you step into a place in heaven and you see the names of people joshua selman this is what he should become great prosperous impactful for the kingdom that is God's will. But when you open that file, you will find attached to that file a dimension of wisdom that will make what he has said come to pass. Your first miracle is knowing what God has written through the eons of time that this is what I desire to do with your life. But number two is having access to the wisdom that makes it manifest. Most pastors most ministries most great people have either not found the will of god for their lives for their jobs for that which they are pursuing or number two have been bankrupt of the wisdom from the spirit to know how to translate prophetic speakings to become a reality the first thing the lord revealed to joshua through moses was the fact that it was the will of god for him to man the helm of affairs of the leadership now to take God's people experientially to the promised land hallelujah but the moment they got to Jericho it would have been a costly assumption that would have led to their defeat if Joshua tried to invent the strategy by himself Joshua was not in ignorance as to what God desired to produce but he needed the wisdom of God their victory were dependent on knowing the wisdom of God and the Bible says that they circumcised themselves and when that happened the captain of the Lord's army appeared 
and gave Joshua a strategy and it was by that strategy they brought Jericho down no amount of human thinking would have suggested going around a city as the formula for defeating such a formidable city this is the wisdom of God as far as the heavens are from the earth I meditated upon this and while I began to pray myself and say, Lord, I pray that your people will understand that for many of them here, the missing link connecting where they are to where they need to be. Thank God for favor. Thank God for destiny help us. Thank God for all of these things. But you see, it is the wisdom of God. Imagine the wisdom of God like the veins and the arteries in your body. Are we together now? Imagine... A human body without veins without arteries there is no possibility of transporting oxygen transporting food nourishment from one part of the body to the other that 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 nerve that connects the entire body is called the wisdom of God imagine if you had to feed your brain then feed your eyes then feed your hand and then feed no 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 all you need to do is just let the food get to the right place and there is already a design by the wisdom of God where every part of the body receives the supply that comes from you. Are we together? That even when you need medical help, they don't inject you in every part of the body. Just one part of the body and it finds its way to heal and treat every other part of the body. This is how wisdom is. There are many people who have different aspects of their lives dying continually. And it is because of the deficiency of the wisdom of God. Hmm. Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 23. Let's read Amplified. We talk a lot about the man Daniel. Daniel was a mighty prophet of God. Daniel was used by God to do several things in Babylon. One of such was interpretation of the king's dream. Watch this. The Bible says in Daniel 2.19, then we're reading to 23, then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night. Watch the wisdom of God. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 20. And Daniel answered and said, go ahead and let's read together. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. 21, still reading together. He changes the times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. 22, he reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him the final verse i thank you and i praise you O god of my fathers who has given me what wisdom and might and made known to me now what we desire of you for you have made known to me the solution to the king's problem look up please when god wants to help you let me repeat myself for your understanding number one he reveals his will because if you are outside the will of God, I told you that the power of God cannot support you in defiance to the will of God. Then number two, you need the wisdom of God. I have taught you that in scripture there are four kinds of wisdom. There is wisdom that comes from above. There is sensual wisdom. Wisdom that is scientific. Number three, there is natural wisdom, wisdom that is a product of age and experience, instinct. And then there is devilish or demonical wisdom. We are talking here about superior wisdom that is from above. You want to build anything great in your life? That is a kind of wisdom that must come upon your life. You want to make acceleration and progress in life and destiny? That is the kind of wisdom. I have discovered that many people who come to church are not really sick in terms of bodily deformities but most people are in need of strange solutions solutions that cannot be found by the wisdom of god uh, the wisdom of man it will take superior wisdom how do i move from where i am to the next level of my life 
most of the prayer requests here i have taught you that most prayer requests of members carry financial issues then perhaps health issues and then various issues that require solutions solutions in office solutions in your life and destiny how to bring yourself from point a to point b the believer was not left without wisdom from god please listen carefully it would be a dangerous thing and it would be unfair for God to put us in this complicated world that is made up of all kinds of people and then give everybody a will and yet not grant us access to superior wisdom. Being a sign and a wonder I wrote here demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. Being a sign and a wonder demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. Being a sign and a wonder demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. There are many people who have encountered the power of God correcting all kinds of things in your body but most people have not accessed superior wisdom. And let me tell you the truth, wisdom is connected to mighty works. Behind every extraordinary manifestation through the life of the saints is this mysterious wisdom of God. 